Welcome to PH Insight. Know the force, behind the flag. Whether it's warships, fighter jets, or the next big defense move, if it matters to Philippine security, it's here. In the sunlit waters of the West Philippine Sea, an exercise unfolded that was about more than just ships and sailors. It was a glimpse of the Philippine Navy's future, one that is modern, automated, and ready to meet the lightning-fast dangers of modern warfare. For the first time ever, the Navy's newest frigate, BRP Miguel Malvar, FFG-06, was seen operating its Gokdanis 35mm close-in weapon system, CIWS, in an air defense role during a maritime cooperative activity with the Indian Navy. This was no ceremonial parade of capabilities. It was a practical, hands-on test of the ship's last line of defense, a weapon system designed to intercept deadly threats in the final seconds before impact. And for the sailors aboard, it was an opportunity to practice the kind of reactions that could one day save their ship, this was no ceremonial parade of capabilities. It was a practical, hands-on test of the ship's last line of defense, a weapon system designed to intercept deadly threats in the final seconds before impact. And for the sailors aboard, it was an opportunity to practice the kind of reactions that could one day save their ship. The Philippine Navy has operated a CIWS before, the Italian-made Breda Dardo twin 40mm system aboard the BRP Conrado Yap, PS-39. While reliable, the Dardo is a manually controlled gun mount with automatic features, dependent on the ship's fire control systems and crew input. It was a step forward for the Navy when introduced, but it belongs to an earlier generation of naval defense. The Gokden is, on the other hand, belongs to the fully automated, sensor-integrated era of naval warfare. Developed by Turkey's defense electronics giant Aselsan, the Gokden is, is a self-contained, autonomous CIWS that brings a different level of security. It is not just a gun, it's a combined radar, electro-optical tracking, and fire control package that can independently detect, track, and engage incoming aerial threats without human intervention if needed. This matters because in modern naval combat, reaction times can be under 10 seconds. Anti-ship missiles travel at supersonic or near-supersonic speeds. By the time a ship's main air defense system detects a missile and its command center orders an engagement, the threat might already be too close. The Gokdanis closes that gap, it's always on watch, ready to fire the instant a threat is confirmed. The Gokdanis uses twin 35mm cannons capable of firing up to 1,100 rounds per minute combined. But it's not just about rate of fire, it's about ammunition technology. The system uses atom programmable airburst ammunition, which detonates in front of a target and showers it with high velocity fragments. This is especially effective against small, fast moving targets like drones and sea skimming missiles, which can be hard to hit with a direct shot. Instead of aiming for a perfect impact, the Gokdanis creates a lethal cloud of fragments in the target's path. The system's dual tracking method, combining radar and electro optical sensors, ensures redundancy. Even if enemy electronic warfare tries to jam the radar, the optical tracker can still guide the guns to target. It can operate fully independently or integrate into the ship's combat management system, CMS, sharing tracking data with other weapons and sensors for coordinated defense. The sight of the Gokdan is rotating and tracking targets during the joint drill wasn't just a cool moment for military photographers, it was a public confirmation that the system is fully operational on the BRP Miguel Malvar. When the frigate was first delivered, the weapon was already installed, but many wondered if the Navy had the crew training, maintenance support, and ammunition supply ready to operate it effectively. This exercise answers that question with a firm yes. For the Philippine Navy, which for decades sailed with ships that relied on manually aimed guns for close defense, this is a generational leap. The Gokdanis gives the Miguel Malvar and future ships a real chance at surviving a modern missile strike. The joint exercise between the Philippine and Indian navies was more than just a bilateral goodwill event. India, like the Philippines, operates in a challenging security environment and has invested heavily in layered naval defense. 
Indian warships often use the Russian origin AK-630 CIWS and its modernized versions, giving Indian sailors plenty of operational experience with last-ditch defense systems. This made them ideal partners for testing coordinated air defense tactics. The air defense phase of the drill simulated a multi-axis aerial attack, the kind of high-pressure scenario where multiple threats come from different directions and altitudes. Both navies had to track, classify, and respond to these threats in real time. For the Philippine side, seeing the Gokton is tracking during such scenarios helps validate not only the weapon's performance but also the Navy's ability to integrate it into broader fleet operations. The deployment of the Gokton is is one piece of a much bigger puzzle. The Philippine Navy's horizon modernization plans aim to replace or upgrade almost every major surface combatant in the fleet. Future ships, including the upcoming Corvette acquisition project and offshore patrol vessels, are expected to carry similar or even more advanced CIWS systems. The goal is to ensure that every frontline vessel has a layered defense, long-range missile interceptors, medium-range gun or missile systems, and close-in systems like the Gokton is. This layered approach is standard among modern navies, but for the Philippines, it's a relatively new capability. Until recently, most ships had no dedicated missile defense at all. The timing of the Gokdanis debut is no accident. Across the Indo-Pacific, countries are rapidly upgrading their CIWS capabilities in response to the proliferation of advanced anti-ship missiles. China's Navy fields the Type 1130 CIWS, capable of 10,000 rounds per minute, and is deploying supersonic and even hypersonic missiles. Vietnam, Thailand, and Indonesia are also adding modern close-in defenses to their fleets. In this context, the Philippine Navy's adoption of the Gokton is isn't just about national pride, it's about survival. Without such systems, even the most advanced frigate can be a sitting duck for a fast, low-flying missile. Equipping a ship with a high-tech weapon is only half the job, keeping it combat-ready is the real challenge. The Navy has worked with Turkish defense experts to train crews not just in operating the Gokdanis, but also in maintaining its mechanical and electronic components. Ammunition supply has been factored into logistics planning, ensuring the system won't sit idle for lack of shells. Given that the Gokdanis is a relatively new system in the Navy's inventory, each live-fire drill and maintenance cycle will provide valuable lessons that can be applied to future ships equipped with similar weapons. Military hardware is always a mix of capability and message. The public debut of the Gokton is sends a signal, to allies that the Philippines is modernizing and ready to contribute to collective security, and to potential adversaries that its ships are no longer defenseless at close range. In a region where maritime tensions are high, especially in the South China Sea, that message carries weight.